Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Pokemon. Uh, so I went and looked at my Pokemon. Cyndaquil can't evolve, but I can just evolve these two. So, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't see why not. What? Oh my god. That is a, that is a pretty wild evolution. <laughs> okay. Alright, 72 HP. I wonder if their HP goes up a lot. I, I, wasn't it for... 72. I gotta, I gotta remember it's HP before I say anything. 72. 90. Okay, so it did go up significantly. Why isn't Cyndaquil evolving yet? Very weird. I've got two Star Star Staravias. I've got a Luxio. Oh, I want to go to Pokedex. Um, that might get me enough. I need to evolve three of them. Three of them. Three... One, thank God. Oh, it counts as is complete. It's not complete. <gasps> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wouldn't, wasn't I supposed to complete Starly for someone? Oh, we have a mission already. I forgot what we were doing. Did you get a good rest? Look who's being punctual. Finally realized you're waiting Wasting Almighty Sinnoh's precious time by blowing, bowing to a sham. Oh my god, I love her. She is fantastic. There you go again, insisting on your false image of Almighty Sinnoh as a ruler of time. My people follow the, Almighty, the true Almighty Sinnoh, the front of all creation, the ruler of space. Ha! You could... <laughs> Diamond and Pearl. You could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Excuse me? Are you really suggesting that you make better use of time than we make of Hisui's space? Better than some. It's a miracle you showed up on time. Oh, mighty leader of the Pearl clan. Yup, they're Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> I worried you'd get lost in the pointless vast space me get lost in almighty Sinnoh's great gift to the pearl clan in the world's very in our world's very basis you wish i like her outfit and her a adam man adam man adam boy uh i'm off to commander uh commando commander commando commander commando should have a day with those two, I see. The man's named Ad Adaman. He's the leader of the Diamond Clan. They put a lot of importance on time, as you can probably tell. The girl is Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. They're all about space. She's called it right, our world's very basis. Whenever they run into each other, the same argument flare up. Seems like they've inherited some bad blood from their predecessor, Strafe. Oh well, not our problem but you'll have problems if you don't get yourself to the commander's office. I'm not going to. I have other things to do. So this is something I heard I haven't seen, but I wanted to uh, point it out because I heard it. Apparently, if you give him a shiny um, uh, a worm pull, it will uh, evolve, which is cool. What's this? Oh, I can just go there? Um, how do I... No, 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 I want requests. Turn on guidance. Okay, she's over here. Thank God they have that. I forgot who it was. Hello there. Oh, you've completed Starly's entry in your Pokedex? Hurry, let me read it. Wait a moment. Male and female Starly are different appearances. Let me see. Oh, the forehead's different. Incredible. Oh, neat. I didn't know that either. 
I know a bit more. I might finally bring myself to touch a Starly. If you can bring me one. Why didn't you hurt to catch me a Starly? There's not a Pokemon in the world as adorable. Okay. You go. You can have a girl one. You can have a boy one. <laughs> I have any girls. Uh, smooth curl and feather its forehead. Those lovely round eyes. Oh, it's lovely through and through. I adore it down to the last feather. Uh, Want to pet it? No! <laughs> I think I'm quite satisfied to look at it. Besides, I might uh, lose a move uh, who outside of the corpse. I actually do something so fretless was approaching Pokemon willingly. Same time, I must thank you for showing me a sweet Starly. Some Pokemon will see a Pokemon and simply flee on sight. Uh, perhaps being able to read all about Pokemon in that Pokedex might help put them at ease. Neat. Don't forget, Star is the cutest little thing in the world. Just too scared to touch it. Okay. Alright, um... I don't believe I have any... other quests I can complete. Get a mushroom, show a Krikatot. That's in the field, I believe. Right? It's at least not here. Also, thank goodness I can just show... I don't have to go there. Take it out of the part... Or, um... Take it out. Put it in my party. That'd be so annoying. Oh, hello. A bothersome Bidoof. Uh, it seems a band of bothersome Bidoof keeps sneaking into the village and causing trouble. Talk to Sugumi at the security court to see if you can help set things up. I want all of them. Seeing several people have spotted a Driffle and playing with one of the village's children. Those who know. Miki and the security corp can tell you more. Speak with her to get the bottom of this. Zubat eyes. Uh, Clarissa from the security corp has requested for us. Uh, something to do with the Zubat, I believe. Talk to the good lady and investigate. There are no other requests. Oh, I thought I was supposed to go see the commander. Oh, he's above me. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say. Hello. Uh, oh, Splendid, you came along at a good time. Uh, I'm looking for a picking... Pickling stone. See, would you mind lending me a hand? Uh, it needs to be the right size and fit the top of one of my pickling pots. It's heavy enough to put a nice firm pressure on the pickle while they firm it. Hmm, I suppose it'll be hard for me to lift such a heavy thing from the pot. Best thing would be for the stone to lift itself up, actually. There's a Pokemon called Geodude that lives there. It'd be perfect. Could you bring me back a Geodude? Sure thing. Where did you go? Ah, uh, hold on. I have a Geodude for you. Where did you go? <laughs> uh, da, 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 Geodude. Hey, they have XP candies in this game. That's awesome. Oh, she's down there? Okay, well. I don't care about that right now, then. Where are you? No, he's third floor, isn't he? Yes, he's third floor. What do you intend to do about the Cleavor, Commander Com Commodo? He may be descended from a warrior of Almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him go rage on. You do get right to the point, Adaman. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, would you? what would you have us do? Cleavor is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly where the Lord of the Pearl Clan's concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats, just like we used to be. But even folks on the team, Galaxy team have got have been wounded, haven't they? It seems someone's got to do something here. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honored nobles? Ah, uh, yes, actually. I think that would be more honorable. I don't believe I said that, though it may be. You might 
be... You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cleavor into such a violent frenzy. I'd like to know my, that myself at the first, as far as my clan knows, too. Hmm, I see you've arrived. This is Ayuma, the newest member of the Survey Corps. I heard from my you were... You earned Weird Ears favor. Could finally meet you, stranger from the Rift. I am Adamin, leader of the Diamond Clan. If you want to be formal, that's a mouthful. Just call me Adamin. If you came from beyond the space-time rift, you'd be from space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to reside. I'm Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my... something. <laughs> Which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really pass through that rift? I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleavor before deciding what must be done? You'd send this stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study Cleavor, this newcomer with no experience? Says the leader with almost no experience. <laughs> Confirmed. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time. It's a matter of embracing Hisui's vastness without fear. Well then, there you have it. If you, uh, if how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give the kid her chance. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try it. It should be fun. Get to see how good the galaxy folk really are with all their weird ways putting Pokemon in these strange balls and what you have. What not? Uh, that whole practice bothers me. Almighty Sinnoh made Hisui vast so Pokemon could live freely throughout. You're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count your ourselves above them. We don't use Pokeballs for the desire to control our Pokemon, only so we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. This is your mission. I ordered you to study Cleavor and help us find the situation. Okie dokie. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the vast blue sky. The vast sky above. What? <laughs> People are naturally suspicious of your presence. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Well, that's settled. No time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Cleavor, is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed in Almighty Sinnoh's power. No other Pokemon you've yet encountered compared to its strength. Be warned. Listen to me. Galaxy Expedition team has come up with the Hisui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten the relations between them. Understood. Okie dokie. Throw me downstairs. We'll cover the details. <laughs> and... Nope. One more downstairs. Oh. <clears throat> Forgot. <laughs> downstairs is... <laughs> Down here. Give me the deets, ma'am. I'm ready. Oh, good, you're already here. Professor Leventon, the briefing, if you please. Yes, let's get right to it. So, I understand you've been requested to find out about Cleavor. Uh, but, as you're aware of now, Cleavor is an almighty thing. Nigh invincible, even. The Security Corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleavor when they were attacked, but... But they need to come close to catching him. It seems he's a far trickier opponent than he can be than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that can't be caught outside of battle once they're riled. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. The mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Of course. Very well. Let us go over the particulars. The Diamond and Pearl clans revere their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude in the Pokemon in the locations they call Noble Seats. So perhaps a good starting point in our research uh, would be to find out what sort of offerings they normally leave for Cleavor. We need to speak with you. Listen, the rift in time space seems like it connects this world to the other world. That world might be where the Almighty Sinnoh itself rides, the true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. So if you fell through the space-time rift, that would that might mean that you traveled through time by Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it, you might you might have just been swimming in divine might. Uh, I've got a favor to ask you. Don't just study, quell his frenzy. Well, you certainly caught us at a good time. We're discussing the next steps with regard to the Cleavor situation. Uh, it must be the scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Profe <laughs> Mr. Professor. That's Mr. Professor, sir. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now, let me elaborate a little. 
Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleavor. They're just title Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get his, this under control, too. It's hard for them to come right out and ask those of the Galaxy team. Uh, and the truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem in our hand. A Pokemon dear to us off of the mountains has flown into the same type of frenzy as Cleavor. Now, there's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still, we've got to share Hisui, and that means we ought to tackle our problems together. But there aren't many capable there aren't many capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best stuff we've got. You'll find Cleavor at Grand Tree Arena. That is that's in the very heart of Heartwood. This warden or his warden is a boy named Leon. Leon is a brilliant child, but also a bit well, sometimes brilliance can be binding, you know? He'll tell you all about his beloved Cleavor, whether you wish him to or not. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure to be you're up for the challenge, so let's be counting on you. See you later. Touch you do it. I don't wanna. Wow. He just said his piece and then vanished. He might have, he might just value time that much, I guess. Adam and my weren't wrong, you know. If you're to study and perhaps you can quell Cleavor, best start with visiting his abode. I've got the Heights camp it should come in handy for getting to the Green Tree Arena. Don't forget to visit the pasture. Shishing your Pokemon team carefully next time. I'm also going to evolve Cyndaquil first. Finding yourself unable to pick up the materials to come across. Such a low seeming fool. That seems like something a wise. Uh, it'd be wise to remain here for a moment. Can I just ignore him? I'm not going to. But... You can carry on more items in that satchel of yours and learn the trick to packing things in. <laughs> I can teach you if you'd like. What do you say? Teach me. Uh, okay. Perfect. Lend me an ear. Made more space. That's all there is to it. See how much you can fit in there. If you're able to carry more things, there's more I could teach you. What do you say? Okay. I I mean like how much space am I getting? Uh, yeah. I am I buying one inventory slot at a time? This is a little ridiculous. But, I mean, I will... Inv I care about inventory. I can make every other item. Oh, my God. <laughs> this guy's bleeding me dry! Oh, that's a thousand. How much freaking inventory space we're gonna get? Uh, 1500. God. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing it. I want my inventory space. 2000, sure. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Teach me more. I can't pay you anymore, sir. Thank you. can't uh there's times that a single extra item can mean the difference between life and death you know okay so i think every single one was one inventory slot so i i got i think all of these so one two three ten no nine inventory slots which is a lot of inventory oops I don't know why I'm moving things. I guess because I can. Whatever. This button. There we go! Alright, need to go turn in one of my quests. Uh, no, I want... Map. Uh, new request. Let's go to the farm then. What can we do here? Wait. What's that? There we go. Uh, hey, listen here. I saw the darndest thing. I was scouting the heartwood for crops it could grow in the fields, and I saw a Pokemon called Cherim change its appearance before my very eyes. Um, seems Cherim's puddles closed. 
right up if it took like nothing like flower bud wow i thought i just witnessed a miracle of evolution that's like i know it's back in full bloom but why would it bloom just to close back up is that how evolution works was uh, saw something else when you finish cherim's entry let me look would you Boop, boop. I know that I can turn in. Oh, I actually need to talk to them? Okay, whatever. I know I can turn in this quest. So we'll turn in this one to start with. A little weird mustache man. Dude, his hair looks like Bugsy. Here to grow some crops, are you now? No way to tell you what it'll yield, but give it your all uh, apricorns. You know. So, okay. What about you? Uh, I'm clear. Oh, cool. That's me. Just taking on my request. Need to catch a Zubat and show it to me so I can take a look at its eyes. Odd request, I know, but there's a reason. Zubats never seem to have trouble flying around in pitch darkness. That means their night vision must be top notch. Counting on you catch me with a Zubat. Have I caught one? I have indeed. I want to take a look at Zubat's non-existent eyeballs. <laughs> take a look at those peepers, if you please. Ain't got eyeballs. It's sad. Well, where are the eyes of this little guy? Don't tell me he doesn't have eyes. But then the Zubat flies around being completely blind? Hmm. Also, it's kind of secret. Amazing. What am I going to do about my nighttime shifts on duty? Get a partner Zubat! That's a good idea. Now I wouldn't need to go alone after all. That'd be help. Get myself, uh, I'll get out there and find myself a Zubat. Thanks for the great advice. You're welcome. How about you? Uh, rather impressive that you can get close to Pokemon when they're firing attacks at you. I bet you're skilled dog. <laughs> yes, I am. Thanks for noticing my sick dodge. Ichika, this place I have to visit. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's here. Oh my god, these are all houses. Are there people with quests in there? Oh, you're here to give me a Geo, dude? Yes, you can have, um... this one. Oh, would you look at that? It really does look like a rock. Seems to be the perfect weight, too. Oh, it's simply perfect. Uh, thank you, young lady, but this is dude. Make some scrumptious pickles. Dude! <laughs> Alright, where are the other girls? Or, uh, people I need to help? New request. Okay. Maybe this one's closer. I don't know. I want the new quests. Give them to me. Whoops. No, I want to talk to you. Uh, you there. You seem like someone who enjoys a bit of crafting. You think you could help me out with something? Sure. It'd be very, very grateful if you craft something using a special recipe I came up with. So without further ado, here's the recipe. Pokey she dolls. Uh, three logs of wood. I think I have three dolls of wood. I invented them to see a special item we could make in this village. I would love to see you craft and show it to me. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can make. I think I can craft one. Oh, I only have two. Darn. Oh well. Um, alright. Next quest. Um, speak with Miki. So they're the one down here. Well, can I set multiple? Nope. No, no, that, that's to show him a charm. Okay, so that's two over there. They were down. Alright, 
So there should be two guys here. You didn't have anything. All right, hello. A big weasel. Uh, Pokemon same sushi come in different sizes. Another person said they do, but they have a hard time believing it unless it's a different size one line side up. Uh, Spoozles, uh, if there really are Boozles bigger than mine, I'd like to see one for comparison's sake. Uh, I know you're naturally comes to Pokemon. See where I'm going with this. Catch a Boozle bigger than mine. Would you let me have it? I'll make it worth your while. Do I have a bigger Bweasel? I've only caught one Bweasel. You don't get my Bweasel. It's my Bweasel. Is it you? Uh, so you've accepted the quest to look at the Drifloom. That's a big help. Let me fill you in. Of course, the Drifloom playing in one of the village children in the Prelude Beach in the evening. <clears throat> it seems an odd behavior of the Pokemon to come in the security groups to come in and harm the children. Thank the, thankfully, all the children were safe and accounted for. Uh, not seem to know anything about Drifloom, but well, you have reported seeing a Pokemon we can't still be working on isn't an issue. Go check out Drifloom. Alright, cool. Um, I think that's every quest. I, I think that's the start of every quest. So, investigate Drifloom. Show him an entry. Show him an entry. Find the item. Make a polka doll. Uh, find a big weasel. Speak with. So give me one. Okay. okay. So she's right here. I want to get these all started so I can just go. How are things, my friend? I certainly hope you're putting that secret back strike technique I taught you to good use. Uh, either way, I have some super potions here for you. I uh, think nothing of the super potions saying oh, great. Business supporting you is actually investment for my own fortunes. Sweet. 100 HP, baby. No must depart. No runes are calling for me. Okie dokie. Already caught three different species of Pokemon in the trial. It's no feat. Uh, can the achiever like you? Oh, pesky Bidoof again. Bidorf! I look away for one second. A little scandal so waltz right into the village. Oh, this is awful. I'm going to be fairly aware with the security car. How can I face Captain z Sui like this? No one can hold yourself, Sugumi. Just catch the Bidoof and everything will be fine. But still, three Bidoof is a lot. Two more than I think I can handle on my own, in fact. I have an idea. I heard there's a particular pest get easily distracted by other Bidoof or ended, or nearby and end up. I heard that these particular pests get easily distracted if other Bidoof are nearby and end up get, letting their guard down. So if you can bring a Bidoof to draw their attention, I can seize a chance to catch all the troublemakers. Okie dokie. Where are the Bidoof? I just talked to you? Okay. Um, hello. Do you have a new quest for me? All right, Pokemon starts eyeing me. I'll try to find an orange berry and run when it's distracted. I'll be fine. Oh, Survey Corps girl. This is headed out to the field lands, grab their tumble stones, but I haven't gotten as many orange berries as like. Are you familiar with orange berries? Yes, I am. Uh, throwing orange berries is a great way to distract the void wild Pokemon. They're indispensable. Uh, could, I, could you give me five of them? Sure, here you go. Pretty sure I have five. Uh, gosh, thanks. Happy to help. Thank you. Gosh, you're nice for someone who fell from the sky. Uh, what? You're nice for someone who fell from the sky. What do you mean? I gotta find all the Bidoofs. Bidoof and Schmerz Evil Incorporated. Where are you, Bidoofs? Sorry? Ok, 
Okay, I keep hearing Pokemon noises. Is this a Bidoof? Is there a Bidoof hiding? Bidoof, where are you? Hello, welcome to the shrine. Uh, she sells protective charms come in handy when you're out exploring the wild. He'll give you the guardian shrine. Uh, you might child if you prayer to shrine. Thank you, I guess. Warding charm. The mysterious charm that has power to protect a person from being afflicted with status conditions. Uh, this charm comes in five different colors. Do you have any other wishes? Nah, I'm good. Okay, what is making the noise? Where are the Bidoofs? I must find the Bidoofs. I went somewhere specific. I just don't remember. So I wanted to go send peanut butter out to teach him a lesson. Yeah, I can't go that way. No! Alright. Where are the Bidoofs? Uh, add a Bidoof to your team and go find the ball. Okay, so I have to add Bidoof to my team. Alright, we'll, we'll look for the Bidoofs in the next one. We'll add peanut butter to our team. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for being here. I do sincerely appreciate it. We'll be back in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button. It's good for the YouTube algorithm. And subscribe. Very much appreciate it. Thank you very much, everyone. Bye-bye.